Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. There are pretty exciting moments in Excel beyond just using it for calculations and storing values. There's been a lot of changes with how it handles images. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic picture album that you can use with slices. Sometimes you want to see the phases behind some of the things that you slice. So in this short video, we'll combine all these tools to create one beautiful interactive picture album for the fine next team. Please join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So this is a sample interactive picture album. So I have the full set of Finex team members. Now, if I want to see, let's say, only the males in this team, I have a slicer here to help me do that. So once I click on only males, you see that it just updates and then gives me only the males. If I want to see only the males in the finance team, okay, again, I get that. In the research team, I get that, right? So with this, you are not just looking at values, but you are also able to see, let's say, the faces or the product images and all of that to bring a bit more intuition into your analysis. So we are going to learn how we created this from scratch. Please join me in Excel and let's start. Okay, so we start off with just a table of records. So I have the names of stuff, the gender here, the age, and then some attributes. So the designation, department. But what is important here is the links to their images. So in a previous video, I showed you how you could create links to these images. You can find that video on our YouTube channel. But I have these links here. So what it means is that using the image function, okay, so I'm going to, in the new column, use this image function, okay, to fetch these images. So just a simple equal to image, okay, and then I just copy this down, right? So it will just run through and then just like that, it will fetch the images, right? Now I'm going to call this image. That becomes a new column, right? So beyond just being able to reference images into cells, in Excel now, Microsoft 365, the version I'm using, you can now insert pivot tables and still use these image fields, okay, as part of the fields for your summaries and analysis. Now let's get to it. So if you stand in the table, I go to insert, insert pivot table from this table, I'm putting this in a new worksheet. Okay, so I have my list here. So I now have my pivot table fields, right? Now you realize that the image field is also here. So what it means is that I can drag it into my rows, right? And then I have all the images showing here. So let me zoom in a bit, right? I can also see it, okay, by name. Okay, now because I am in the compact view, I'll go to pivot table design, okay, and then change the report layout from compact to tabular. Okay, if I take off my subtotals, now you now realize that for every image, I have the name associated here, which is pretty cool, right? Now, what we want to do is to capture the images without the headers or anything below it. Right, so it will help at this point to take off the grand totals, okay? And then we are going to use a dynamic formula to just spell only the images, right? So to do that, we are going to use the function filter, right? So filter takes an array. So I'm going to highlight this entire array. Now it's important you don't have anything below apart from the caption or the title. Right, so I have filter going into the whole of this. Now I want to filter this to include, okay, the cells that are not empty. So this is how I do it. So if I close my bracket, then I get a spell of just the images. Okay, now I also want to take out the caption. So what I can do is that I'll edit to include this time round, not just those that are empty, but any cell that also contains the caption image, right? So 
I would extend this argument, right, and then multiply it by the same AA, right, should not be equal to image. Hopefully, this is going to be the caption throughout. So, here yeah, I have a double criteria, and then I'll close this. So, when I do this, I'm now left with only the images. So, now what I want to do is to wrap this spell, okay, to give me three columns at every time and then spell the rest of the pictures. So, at this point, I'm going to use the new function called wrap calls. Okay, so this is already my vector, okay, and I want this wrapped, right, with three columns. Okay, so this is going to give me or I the pictures in three columns. And then I'm going to part with just a blank. So I'll put a double quote here and then close my bracket. Okay, so once I do this, now you realize that I now have all the images spelled okay, in three columns and then the rest of the pictures just follow like that. Okay, so now if you have any extra pictures, this is going to change, okay, because it's a spelled array. Now let's bring in our slicers. So I'll stand in my pivot table, go to insert, insert a slicer. So I want to break this down by gender and also break this down, let's say by department. And then I'll put these two here. Okay, so I'll put this here. And I'll put that here, right? So with this, we can easily create a dashboard, right? So I'm going to insert a new sheet here, okay? Alt H O R to call this a dashboard. Now, this is where I'm going to put in my album. So, I can select any three columns here. Okay. And if you like, I can set these to Alt H O W to a column width of 20. Okay. So, that spaces out a bit. Then Alt H O H. Okay. Set this to a column width of 80. All right. Okay, so here I can put in my border lines, Alt H B A, okay, to have these here. Now at this point I can bring in my slices. So I can cut these two, Ctrl X, come to my dashboard, and then paste these here. Okay, so I have my gender on standby. I also have my department on standby. Right. Then what is left now? Is to bring in the uh, images okay so because this is a spilled array i can just do an equal to okay come to my calculation area select the first cell and then bring a hash okay so this will now reference everything in here right and then just like that you can even highlight this go to home and then center middle align appropriately now from this point, you can put in your captions and then any extra designs. Okay, so now if I'm doing any analysis or I want to create a dashboard, I can now just filter just on females. So these are the female members in the team now are present up. Okay, the males are here. Okay, if I deselect everything, I have a full spell. I can analyze this by department, research, technology, transport and all that. So hopefully you get an idea on how you can now combine these new image features with the regular pivot tables and slices to bring your dashboards to life. Hopefully you've picked up some few lessons. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.